Happy Monday, YouTube, and all my followers. I was asked if I would go ahead and make a tutorial on how I make my um, little mini uh, flower keychains um, on my Instagram account. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, of course, I have most of the supplies already laid out. We have, of course, our flower petals, and we have a little eyelet here that I'll be using on one of the petals and then of course here's the keychain we'll attach it to and um, the way I fold my flower petals is probably the same as most everyone else at least I assume so so what I do is I just take a course and fold one corner in so we have that little L of sticky and then I take and fold the other side down kind of make it even across there so we have the little loop right there you can see that and I'll do it uh, one more time here fold it from right to left of course I'm right-handed and then take it from the left over to the right like that yeah, okay and what I do when I start my um, centers, so I have something a uh, base to work on. I don't know if this is what everybody else does or not, but I make these little rolled petals. I I roll it backwards to where you can see the sticky is on top. I'm rolling it kind of in on itself. Keep rolling till you get to the end. Keep rolling it around. Alright, so now I have one rolled petal right here. You see that? Okay, and I'm going to do the other ones. I try to stick it down on the mat so it doesn't unroll because sometimes they do unroll. So we'll just go ahead and we'll roll up another one. Try to roll it as tight as you can. Okay, see, got another little roll petal. And see, this one already started to come unrolled. So what I do is I try to roll them back up. And I try sticking them together. And sometimes that will keep them from unrolling until I get ready to go. Kind of a trial and error here. Oops, that one got too loose. Sometimes I have to take another little piece of tape, especially I'm using, uh, this is Tape Brothers Yellow Tape. Okay guys, I'm not sure what happened. I think the beginning of my video um, cut off, so um, I'm not sure if that little piece is going to be out there, but what I've done is I've made the starting of my little keychain center. I have four little rolled petals and the way I roll them is I roll them with the sticky side showing out and what I'm going to do because my phone cut off um, is I'll go ahead and show you with a separate piece of tape how I rolled them because I'm not sure if this is going to make any sense otherwise. So anyway, just make the little petal the way you normally do. I fold from right to left and then from left to right. And then when I say make a rolled petal, I'm turning it around like this. And I'm folding it in on itself as tight as I can with my fingers. And that's what I mean by making a rolled petal. So it comes out looking like this. See the little circle? And then we have the sticky side showing. And I make uh, three or four of those petals. Uh, the signature style I try to do on mine that I make is I just make three, but I actually made four this time for the tutorial. So I have the four petals right here. 
and I took another piece of tape so I could have something to hold on to and I wrapped it around the bottom it covers the sticky but it also keeps them together so that they don't uh, come apart focus come on camera anyway so this gives me a little bit of something to hang on to while I'm going to do the going around so this is where I go ahead and start placing my petals on uh, the same way that you normally place the petals on when you're making your pencils or pens um, you know I go opposite each other in the beginning on each side pushing as hard as you can to get the sticky part to stick and then across this way and then across this way I think this is the way everyone actually starts like this got your center and then you've got your four petals across from each other and then what I do if you're going to do another color is I'll come in and I'll try to go where there's a, a spot like where there's a space here so that's what I'll do for the next row okay I'm not sure what's happening here my phone keeps clicking off I've, I guess it's got my notifications for my Facebook I'm gonna have to turn those off because they're interfering it keeps going to the little notification thing so people on Facebook need to stop Facebook and people anyway so that's what I do I'm going not necessarily back and forth but I'm just going where the empty spots are from that first row So now it looks like this. I'm just filling in the empty spaces. And so the way I do mine is I don't keep going back and forth evenly. I just fill in the sp empty spaces. And so we're kind of back on top where there was another blue one before. So that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, try to keep them even. And eventually, as you're doing this, of course, as you keep going around, that it's going to, you, you don't go down very much. You just go kind of slightly down, and it's going to start opening up. And um, it eventually is going to flatten out. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw some more of the puppy paws in. not really going to be a real true spiral effect it's just going to be a slightly different flower and uh, I'm going to go around just one more time here and then I'm going to pause and get some more petals on here and come back and uh, we'll be further along so this uh, tutorial doesn't end up being really long and boring while you sit here and just watch me place petals on this flower and of course as you can tell as I'm placing them where the little V's are I'm getting them closer and closer because I like it to be a nice bulky wide flower it is um, it is starting to angle down as you can tell it's not flat yet but just bear with me for a moment I'll be right back okay uh, video I guess got cut off so that'll be part one and I'll title this one part two what I've got to do before I finish my flower is I need to cut a hole in one of the petals and I had this nice tool uh, from uh, Fiskars uh, that cuts uh, the tool the little um, grommets and sets them so right now you don't even need a hammer you just put the end that cuts over the pebble where you want it to cut and you just pull up on this spring like that and it cuts the hole as you can see there's the little piece inside there you got a hole cut in here now all you have to do 
is you set the eyelid into the pin here and you put the little washer over the top of the eyelid like this and you take the other end that sets it put it in there well, you got it on there nice and even. Do this on a, on a mat that you don't mind getting a little indentation in because it will dent it. And then hold the bottom down here again and pull up. And I do it one more time just to make sure we got it nice and set. And it is. You can see it's nice and set in there. And here's the grommet on this side. Kind of flat. <laughs> But it's got all nice and set in there so it won't come out. And um, I take this, I've cut my little tail off with a pair of scissors. So I will go ahead and I'll put this one down here. And uh, normally what I do is I put a couple more petals over just to help secure it down. And I also... Um, use my hot glue gun to uh, hot glue a few of the petals before and after it to make it more secure so it's not going to be coming loose but I don't have it plugged in it might not get hot enough by the time I'm ready for it but I went ahead and plugged it in we'll see what we can do and then just get a couple more petals I kinda eyeball it till it looks the way I want it to look I think one more and that'll do it you just have to do what makes you happy as far as how it looks to you Mine never have any certain number of petals. It's just, it's just what ends up turning out to look good. And then, of course, I'll take a piece to cover the hole in the back. I usually do a piece of tape that matches the last row of flowers, of petal flowers. And sometimes you have to tuck the little corners under so it doesn't look funny. Hang over the ends. And what I mean by going back a few rows, I, this, I usually what I do is I pull the petals down and I'll put some hot glue across there and then I'll put some hot glue across that one and then again across this one and across this one. It just makes a very secure base that way and you know your flower is not going to come apart when you uh, sell it to someone and um, of course this is how my little flower is looking right now I think it came out really nice and um, I have the little j-hook that I use to attach on here so if you're like me and your hands aren't very strong you can use a pair of uh, needle nose pliers I have a pair of curved ones that actually helps me get in where I want to be so I just use that to crimp it and that way I can stick it in the hole whoops there we go stick it in the hole and now it's attached my little key ring is all attached and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial even though it got cut off in the middle or, or actually three quarters of the way through but I'm gonna go back here as soon as my glue gun is hot and uh, go ahead and do my little things I do on the hot glue gun to make sure the pedals on the back here are nice and secure and um, comment and subscribe tell me um, what I might have been able to do better for you um, you know as far as the tutorial I'm gonna try to improve this of course is only my second one but uh, thank you uh, for putting requests out there and I will do whatever tutorials you want me to on the crafts that I make and I know I can just improve as I keep doing them. And thanks for watching.